Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on creating content at home. We are living in unprecedented times during the coronavirus outbreak. While COVID-19 might be able to keep us indoors, it will never be able to stop us from creating new and engaging content. Let's take a look now at how to create new shows right from home. In this video, we're going to use Zoom as our video conferencing tool of choice, but there are many different options out there, such as Google Hangouts, WebEx, and more. Just make sure that the tool you choose has the ability to record your session. Zoom offers free accounts and the ability to record, so that makes it a great tool for us in this situation. In addition to a free video conferencing account, you'll need a computer. It can have a built-in webcam or you can have a secondary USB webcam, a microphone, in a pinch, you can use the microphone built into your computer, but an external mic like a headset or headphones with an inline mic will give you much better quality. Internet access. Make sure you're connected to the internet. To sign up and set up a Zoom account, head to zoom.us and click on sign up, it's free in the top right corner of the webpage. Enter in your email address and it will send a link right to your email. Now check your email for that link and click activate account to jump to the name and password page on Zoom. This name is what people will see you as, so make sure you write out your full name as if it were your name graphic and pick a strong password that you can remember and maybe write down for safekeeping. Click continue and go ahead and verify that you're not a robot. You don't have to invite anyone, so click on skip this step. Good news, you're all signed up. Now this part is a little confusing. There's both a Zoom website and a Zoom application or app. On the Zoom website, which is zoom.us, you can change your preferences and settings. The Zoom app is what you'll use to actually talk to your guests on your computer. Let's download that now. Head over to zoom.us slash download. You only need to download the app once. I'll show you the download process on a Mac computer, but it's a similar process on a PC as well. If you run into trouble, you can reach out to me and I'll walk you through the process one-on-one. -on -one. There are near infinite settings you can change and play with, but we're not going to go over them all. Most of what we'll need for these shows is already set up, but you can change settings as you see fit once you become more comfortable with the software. What we do want to do before we go much further is test your camera, headphones, speaker, and microphone. To do this, open up the Zoom app and sign in. In the top right corner, click on the gear button. This will bring you to the settings window. In this window, you want to navigate to both video and audio to test your equipment. There will be a drop down for camera, speaker, and microphone between the two panels. Test around and make sure that what you have is working and sounds great you're almost ready to call your guests. Now for a little bit of creativity, setting up your scene. Viewers will be able to clearly see your background, so you want to make sure it represents what you want viewers to know about you and your home or office. Pick a spot in your house with an appealing and engaging background. This could be a bookshelf, a corner with plants, pretty wallpaper, any sort of interesting texture, like my fireplace. Check to make sure no one will walk by a doorway during your show. Whether you're using a built-in camera on your laptop or an external USB camera, you want to make sure you have good placement of your camera for your interview. If your camera is too low, it will give your face a looming effect. I suggest your camera to be eye level or a bit higher for the best and most flattering angle. As you can see, my laptop is propped up on a tray table and a couple of boxes to get the height that I want. Be creative but safe with your technology. Pay attention to the light in your favorite spot too. Is the light right in front of you? Is it a direct or indirect light? Can you change the light with curtains or lamps? You want the light to be behind your computer and not behind your back. Mitigate distractions by making sure there's no background music or TV, 
pets are secured or engaged, household members are aware, and the house phone and cell phone's ringers are muted. For your interview, set up a timer since a staff member won't be there to cue you this time. You can use a timer on your phone, or you can do a quick search for a timer and put it on the screen with your interview subject. You want to stay engaged in the conversation while also seeing how much time you have left. Use a timer for a countdown and a stopwatch for a count up. Be sure to set your timer for two to three minutes less than the length of your show so we have room for an opening, credit, and to show a quick PSA in between your program and the next. For a 30 minute show, set your timer at 27 or 28 minutes, and for an hour show, set it at 57 or 58 minutes, just to be safe. Hopefully you're feeling confident and ready for your first interview. Here are just a few things to remember as you embark on this digital journey with us. Your guest will see you 100% of the time, so stay focused and engaged in the conversation. Make sure your timer isn't far out of view, so you can glance at it without disengaging with your subject. Look directly to the camera to address your audience. It's so easy to look at the person on the screen and not the camera, but your viewers will see the difference. Make sure your light source is in front of you and not behind you. Lighting can make or break a video. Have patience. Zoom can have a bit of a delay, so it's important to be patient and give your guests enough time to answer without cutting them off. Take it slow and have some fun. It's okay to take notes. Looking down and writing for short times is okay, just remember to look up again. Hit record. Don't forget to record your interview to share with the community. For free accounts, you can record locally to your computer and then upload to a sharing service to share with our staff. We'll help you on a one-on-one -on -one basis with the sharing step. The record feature is in the bar at the bottom of your Zoom window. Do a practice recording just to make sure you're comfortable with the feature before your first interview. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me and we can't wait to see what crazy cool interviews are to come. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me or to a staff member at your local community media station. Happy creating!